Welcome to Doing Our Bit and today I'm asking the question whether it makes sense anymore to divert your solar into your car battery or hot water tank. In March 2022 I upgraded to the Zappi charger and since then I've diverted 535 kilowatts of power into my car battery which is equivalent to over 2,000 miles of three miles effectively. And my plan was to add an eddy charger to this to actually heat the hot water in my Mixergy tank. Having switched to Intelligent Go, my off-peak price, however, is for the first time less than the amount I get paid for any export. Currently, the outgoing fixed light available with Intelligent Go pays 8 pence. And I'm aware you can get up to 15 pence per kilowatt. Due to our air-to-air -air heat pump now, we are going to use more of our solar during peak times due to both heating and particularly cooling. Watch out for a video about this for 2024, you won't want to miss. But this new situation means that I won't divert any export going forward. It actually makes life easier for both the car and our storage battery as in March to October period, I normally switch from charging the battery every night to 100% using off-peak to then adjusting it down to about 30%, which was rarely triggered as we had more than enough spare solar to charge the battery. However, going forward, I will leave this at 100% all the year round and won't leave the car plugged in during the day to gain any diverted export. And if you're in a similar position, I'd suggest you do the same. The extra two hours of off-peak window available also opens up the possibility of expanding our battery capacity from the current 8 kilowatts to potentially up to 14, which over the winter could be really useful. But we'll need to have a year's data to see if it really makes sense. All this may fast track my payback on the solar battery system and make solar diverters and diverting make no financial sense at all. There may of course be situations where this does not apply, so interested in your comments or whether you too have found this to be the case in the transition to newer and better tariffs. Hope you found this short video useful and if so please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.